I just had an epiphany. It is time to stop living like a peasant. So, although this hotel is uh, somewhat on the luxurious side, I reckon we can do even better. Man, this room though, highly recommended if you're in Seoul. No hat, because we're gonna go on the metro and it's gonna be hot. The lift speaks French. And so do these hotties. There is also a library here. Hold on. Is that Thomas Jefferson? No, George Washington, isn't it? It's been snowing today. Guess what? It is minus eight. It's gonna go down to minus 13 degrees today. Let's find a metro station, shall we? So minus eight here, I mean, it feels like minus 18. But I like the cold weather. Hold on, is this a, is a metro entrance right here? I'm gonna have to cross the river. All right. Let's hope we don't run into Team Jesus telling us we're going to hell, eh? How do you get a ticket here? Okay, we're going here to the National Assembly, uh, to the Conrad. There is a... Ah, oh, it's a station called the National Assembly. Let's see. Let's screenshot that. Right, the ticket vending and card reload device. English. Destination. National Assembly. One ticket. Cancellation. Let's try again. Okay, we're in business. Now we need to figure out this map. Whoops. Whoa, I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> hmm. Seoul Station? I don't see National Assembly anywhere. Let's ask someone, huh? Sorry, do you speak English? English? I'm trying to go to National Assembly. Na National Assembly. Assembly? Yeah, Assembly. Hold on, I'll show you on the map. Assembly or OTG? Just go down. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's just get on the train and then we see where we go, huh? with no uh, I'm going in the wrong way in rush hour <laughs> with my suitcase and this doesn't work <sighs> oh. all right now we're talking at the list here we have a, a map with uh, stations So 
I need to figure out which line because I'm going to have to change because I don't see National Assembly on any of these. So I'm going to have to switch to one of these lines. Exactly how? I need a bigger map. All right, I just jumped on and finally I found a map. But I must say, I'm now more confused than before I saw that map. So let's just see where we go. Man, what a system. I'm sure it's really good if you understand which line to take. But um, anyway, let's go up here and see what we figure out. This is Seoul Station, which I think is like a, a hub where many lines connect. Convenient. I give up. The problem is, I can't figure out which line that the Station National Assembly is on. And there's no map that explains which line it is on, where I can... So actually, you know, for a foreigner, this system is not easy to navigate. And I've been to some pretty chaotic systems before, like in London or Madrid, and I'm able to figure it out. But here, without knowing which line it is, where I can connect, what's the name of the, 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 the track, the, I don't know. Can't figure it out, so I'm gonna go for a taxi. All right, let's head out. I think I see some taxis on the other side here. Oh no, it's Team Jesus again. Ah. Jesus is the way. Jesus. All right, good luck. Thank you. At least you didn't curse me to hell. <laughs> That's what they did yesterday. <laughs> Are you on Team Jesus? Uh, no. No? <laughs> Is this where I can get a taxi? Yeah, I'm gonna to try to do the same because I'm not lost in it. Alright, me too. Good luck. Where are you going? Uh, across the river. I tried to figure out the metro system, but I'm I'm too dumb. Yeah, so. I, uh, I just got a little lost too. I okay. Today, but evidently not. It's not easy, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the taxi stand, is it? Yes. All right. Let's go to the back of the queue. All right, I think I'm safe. <laughs> what? Hello. I'm going to Conrad. Conrad. Conned Seoul, Conned Yeido, Conned Seoul. Okay. Conned Conned Yeido. All right. Yeido. Okay. Yeido. 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 Okay. We're on our way. Conned. Seven. Seven. I'm in the back here. He's saying Hon. You say Hon Min Song? Son Min Hong. Oh, Hon Min Song. Hon Min Song. Tottenham. Are you a Tottenham fan? Holland. Okay. He's the best. Ah, that's why you said Holland. I thought you said Holland. You said Holland, Manchester City. Thank you. Oh, wow, you already got my suitcase. Thank you. Wow. Damn, this looks fancy. Yeah, check it in. Checking in. Okay. Oops. Man, slippery. All right, let's check in first. The jet lag is upon us. Now, I have one hour to wait here. It's 11 o'clock. Check in is technically at 4, but if I wanted to check in early, they told me it's 50% the room rate. That's $400 because this room is 800 a night. So, anyway, told me to wait to 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, they let me check in four hours early. So, uh, we're sitting here with the third coffee of the day. 
and uh, trying to stay awake. The only way to get over jet lag is to sh soldier through. Like if I if I sleep now, I'll wake up at five, and I'll never get on uh, schedule for Korea time. So, cheers. Wake up, focus, have a hard day of vlogging ahead of us. I'm in 2206. Let's see if we got this right. We did not. I'm in 2216. If you're wondering what it's like to live with a memory like mine, well, it's intriguing and interesting to say the least. Oh my, oh my. All right. Welcome to the $800 a night suite at the Conrad Hotel, downtown Seoul. Let's do the grand tour, shall we? Now let's activate Gabriel High Roller Traveler camera mode. Here is the, uh, the pantry or the walk-in closet, which is the only room I have been to thus far to hang up my coat for this tour. And here we have the living room. Oh, <laughs> man. This is unbelievable. Hold on, is this a... I thought maybe this was a... Okay, there is some more stuff going on in here. A, uh, a whole garden original and a cloud. A mold classic. Let's indulge in that after the gym, shall we? Oh, ho, ho. look at this. So right across, right over there, that's kind of the downtown tourist area. I mean, that's where I, um, I spent uh, last night. More stuff happening over here. I mean, this seems to be more of an industrial type of area. Although there's a mall called the Hyundai. I think that's kind of what's, what there is to do here around, uh, around here. <laughs> Man, look at this room. Oh, we have a bathtub. And yeah, shower with a view. the risk. Uh oh, how do we turn this off? Ah. <laughs> Respectable. Oh man, you guys got wet. All right, we are back now. No more water on the lens. We're almost done. Now, I suspect if you're a chick, you would be like, Whoa, look at this! This is how, uh, yeah, if you're a, a person that likes to put on makeup, I'm guessing this would, uh, this would be like a dream. Shower, you can sit there in the bathtub with a glass of wine and a fantastic view. Which is my plan for the evening. And here you have the main, the main bathroom again. 
need some engineering, electrical engineering skills, but you know these. Oh, doesn't sound good. Well, it, I think it got to work. It's doing something in there. Hmm. Don't dare to open a lid in it. It's gonna, yeah, splash me. All right, it's time to. Uh, it's time to. To have my first meal of the day. Like I said, six restaurants here. Not quite sure which one we're gonna we're gonna go to first, but uh, the rooftop one up on the thirty seventh floor. That's gonna be my final. Um, meal for the day. So let's go to one of the other ones right now before we hit the gym in the swimming pool. Well, 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 looky here. So when you rent the suite, you get access to, uh, to this lounge up here with some, some free beverages, some drinks, and an absolutely fantastic view. Let's go and, uh, let's go and sit over there. I'm struggling here, but um, there's an Italian restaurant downstairs. It's seventy dollars for a um, for a bolognese, but I think it's been baguio beef and everything. So um, they were packed though. So I'm waiting for twenty minutes. See if we can get a table now. Hello. I ordered the table before. Just for one table? Just for one, yeah. Just for one table. Okay. Now you are not full. Uh, You're very busy for lunch every day, are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, every day for lunch. Okay. All right, so the restaurant is called Atrio. I'm gonna try the Tagliata di Vagio. I'm guessing that's Tagliatelle. Let me ask her. Huh? Yeah, I want to ask about this one. Tagliata. Is that Tagliatelle? Oh, this is a Wagyu steak. It's a steak? Yes. Okay. Wait, what is Tagliata? I don't know what that is. Uh, it's kind of... I, I would just check but out it, the picture. Yes, but it's just a Wagyu steak. That's it, yeah? Yes. Let me try that. Okay, yeah. how, how can I just cook your Medium right here? rare, please. Medium rare. Yeah. And a, uh, do you have Coca Cola Zero? Zero? Yeah. Okay. okay. I would just uh, check the how much how it is. Just... It's okay, I already ordered. I'll, I'll wait. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so tagliata means uh, to cut. Okay, fun little story here for off camera. So the, um, the server, it's her first day. So she came off camera and she was a little worried about not understanding the word um, ta taglia. Um, so you went and asked the manager, right? Yeah. <laughs> and what and, did he? And also I have Google it. Ah, okay. <laughs> she Googled it just like me. So we both know now that taglia means to cut. It just, it's about the type of cut of the beef. Um, it has nothing to do with tagliatella, so um, yeah, she was a little worried that she, she got that wrong, and I, you know that's something she should know. But yeah, I told her, don't worry, I didn't know that either. So, uh, but yeah, my point is, service here in in South Korea, I mean, it's it's immaculate. Yeah, it's, I know I'm in a fancy hotel yet again, but even even outside, um, when you're in the markets and so on, like I, I think the level of service here is is, is sublime. All right, the main event has arrived. Let's, um, man, it's so hard to eat and vlog at the same time. Let's put you guys over there. Oh, this looks absolutely superb. I don't know if I should, uh, yeah, why not? I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have put any sauce on it, but. Harold approves. When 
I normally do when I don't feel in tip-top shape. I'll do a gradient, so 3%, and then we'll go up to 10 kilometers, not miles. Oof. Anyway, 10 minutes like this, then I'll do some bench, get a pump on, and uh, oof. all right, see you guys at the pool. Stay awake, man. This is uh, a bit harder than I thought. Dinner is still hours away, so let's kill some time answering a common question. What do I travel with in my bags? Yes, I actually have two bags, but when you guys see me walking in the street, I have this one inside. But when I'm on the airplane, this is my carry-on. So let's unpack everything and see exactly what I brought with me on this two to three week journey. Here we go. Everything is unpacked. This is where I keep my, my wires and chargers. I have a couple of sunglasses. This is uh, my laptop, toiletries. This one, I carry batteries and, and, uh, and stuff when I'm out vlogging. Then we have one, two, three, four t-shirts, three underwear. One short sleeve shirt, a gym shorts, gym shoes, long sleeve shirt. Yeah, two jeans. This is uh, a shorts, only two pairs of socks, a hoodie, a uh, turtleneck, and my, my long sleeve shirt. And I do have a beanie or whatever you call it. So there we go. All of that could obviously fit in a suitcase that's even smaller than this. You know, there's so much space in a suitcase when I set out on a journey and then you give it, like if I'm on the road for a couple of days or a week or two, suddenly all my stuff don't even fit anymore. So, uh, all right, man, the jet lag is hitting me hard. What are we gonna do for another two hours before my dinner reservation? <laughs> Stay awake at all costs. Whew. All right, how's this for an editing position? We got some time to kill before dinner, so uh, I'm gonna get to work on yesterday's video, and then you guys can probably watch it tomorrow. Ready? I got the window seat. Oh, perfect. Thank you. All right. Menu or is there a QR code? Is... Uh, once it completes it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Look at this. I still haven't been down to the Hyundai mall, but uh, all right. I went for the Korea Hanbu. It's the absolute top, top um, beef they have in the country, he said, with uh, truffle, gratin, whatever that is. Noble mm. seasoning and the gravy is looking. Looks beautiful. Yeah. All right, fill me up. Why not? Beautiful. Very good. All right, they brought me a starter here. So this is a sourdough. I'm a huge fan. Oh man, it's warm. It's beautiful. Sourdough bread and um, exactly what this is i don't know let's see then 
Bühne. Oh man. This is a uh, Harold approves. Mucho. Whoa. Yep. That's my steak. What a beauty. Not quite sure how we're going to approach it. All right, it's proper rare, all right. Oh man. You don't need to chew this. You just swallow. This is what the suite looks like at night. It looks way better lit up, I must say. Now it's beautiful during the day, but now it's this is something else. My oh my. Just wait till you see the bedroom. It's a shame I can only afford one night here. Actually, I can't even really afford one night here either. But, uh, all right, we're making a video. And that's how we'll hopefully make this uh, go around. Is that the right expression? Man, I am I'm dying here. I am so tired. I've been able to soldier through by simply staying busy. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I can do it much longer, but, uh, you know what? I think it's time we, we jump in the, um, in the tub with a beer. There was a beer over here that I haven't, uh, that I haven't tried before. So, the cloud, the cloud original. The old mold classic. Yeah, it looks like a proper Korean one. Rich and smooth. Yummy. That's it. That's the water pressure. Gonna be full tomorrow morning. Cheers, guys! Whew. What a day! Can't believe I have not even been in Korea for haven't even been here for 48 hours. But okay, we've made uh, two videos, um, done some recon, learned a little bit about the country. Oh, hold on, let's try the the cloud original first. Yes, a lot of that went in the bathtub. Anyway, I'm, I'm loving it so far. And uh, I figured, you know, get a couple of videos out there and then uh, now I can relax a bit, chill, you know, see what, uh, see what path I'm gonna take forward, where in the country I'm gonna go. I'm thinking about maybe heading south to Busan or um, we will see. But anyway, it's really everything that I expected it to be and more service is sublime. A lot of people speak uh, English at least at the hotels and in restaurants so I'm looking forward to the uh, the um, spending the rest of the year in Korea so that is uh, signing off from a uh, oh man yeah I don't even know what I'm talking about signing off it's now 7:15. The sun's about to come up over that hill.
Now we're talking. What an absolute disaster. I was able to sleep for three hours. I've been up for a long time already. It is now 7.30 and uh, yeah, this is gonna be a, a rough day. I mean, I feel actually, sadly, somewhat rested, but I know just uh, three and a half hours of sleep isn't enough. So this is gonna catch up with me later on. So I'm gonna try and go back and sleep um, after I've eaten this. Now, uh, if I'm not able to, you could have to soldier through again until the evening. So, yeah, man. I think the older you get, the tougher it is to get over jet lag. Hell yeah, things are looking up for the Northmen. 